Hey all, JB here again from InfoHut with today's little guide on trying to identify what causes the error message popping up with cannot verify server identity when you're trying to use your email client. Now this happens across all email clients and all model iPhones. So we'll get started and we'll break it down to see if we can eliminate what's causing the issue. Okay, so now what your email client on your iPhone is trying to do is essentially trying to contact that server and make a secure connection. Now, when things like the date or the SSL certificate can't be verified, it's unable to create a secure connection and that's when things fall apart. So we'll start from the most basic things and we'll move up to the more complex fixes. In most cases, uh, I'll be able to cover what fixes 90% of the, the issues. So let's get started with the first thing being date. So I'll just go on my phone here and we go to settings. And from settings, we go to general, then date and time. And as you can see, I've got my date and time at 27th of January, 2012. Now, obviously I've just changed that myself. so. To eliminate that, you need to set that automatically or set in your correct time and year especially. Now we go back and then what I want you to do is check the email client after that. Okay, now if that doesn't fix the problem, the next step is to try and check your internet connection and doing that could mean that you have a current internet connection that is working intermittently or it's not working correctly. So the best thing that I found to do is Disable your Wi-Fi and try it with cellular or vice versa. So if you're using cellular, try to find a, a Wi-Fi to connect to because it could be one or the other. And I do see that happen a lot. So try that out, then try the actual uh, uh, email client and see how you go. Now, if that doesn't work, we need to reset our, net, well, our network settings, but there's an option in iPhone to reset all of your settings. So on my phone, I'll go to settings again, and then I'll go to general. And then from general, I'll scroll down and on iOS 15, it says transfer or reset iPhone. It'll say something similar if you do have an uh, older version of iOS. And then what we do is we press reset. So that'll reset your, your iPhone settings. Don't press erase content and all settings because that'll delete everything. I'll just say that again just use the reset option. Now, if that doesn't work, once again, there's another thing we can try. Now, another common issue uh, that does occur is that sometimes, and it usually occurs with the smaller ISPs or email service providers out there or corporate networks where they do update their server type settings and you just simply need to remove and add in your email accounts again. So the next step is we go to settings and then from settings we scroll down to see, uh, look for accounts, um, well mail accounts. So then we go to mail, then accounts, and then you'll see that it has the Gmail account there. And then from there we can delete the account. Now when we do delete the account, if you're using a POP mail server, it might delete the emails that are on your phone. So make sure you do back up your iPhone if you're not too sure, as you might not be able to get them back. But, but main providers like Gmail and stuff like that, they'll, they'll have their uh, mail on the server. But I'll just explain that again. Make sure to always be safe, back up your data. And uh, you can delete that and then re-add it in. So once that's done, we've pretty much gone through all the steps and that should fix a problem. And by all means, if it doesn't fix a problem, drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help. Also for people that are successful with any types of those fixes suggested, drop a comment below because that'll help other video viewers as well. So once again, please like, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time with another video. Thank you.